I had a really cool project earlier this year for one of my clients called Media Mat. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Nathaniel once again and it's all about showing you the process of creating a chalkboard mural for one of my clients called Media Math. Now, Media Math is based in Singapore and they have really gorgeous views around their office and they wanted me to create a mural that represents who they are and they want to engage their employees to start conversations about conservation. Oh, that was a mouthful. I got that right. And so, they wanted me to design something that would fit their office space using my style. I admit this is my first time creating something like this. It's a purely illustration piece with no lettering on it. I wasn't too confident that I would be able to pull it off, so I wasn't sure whether to accept this job or not. I'm a lettering guy, first and foremost, and I'm not really big into illustrations, but Eve was super supportive. She saw my work online and she she knew that I had to be the one to do this for them and I'm glad that we agreed. This project was completed last month before the corona situation has evolved to this scale and um, keep safe out there and stay home. So Eve wanted a mural to represent what they believed in. I mentioned about conservation and the inspiration is really lush greenery a la Singapore Botanic Gardens or maybe Gardens by the Bay. She also wanted an animal to represent the conservation efforts that's being done across the globe. For starters, I need to do a bit of research as well as to what types of flora and fauna are tropical in nature. So I was thinking of quarter circle on top on the top right of the piece uh, with the bird at the center and all the rest to be covered with lush greens and colorful flowers like birds of paradise, the local orchids, and uh, some ferns. So enough of me talking about the background, enough of me talking about the thought process behind it. I want to show you what took place on the day itself on the on-site chalk illustration.
in the end, this is how it looks like, and I'm glad he was very happy. I'm also very happy with how it turned out. It's my first full illustrated mural, and I'm happy to showcase it with you all. That's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions with all the materials that I used or with any technique that I showed in this video, do let me know down in the comments. Uh, also tag someone who may want to watch this video and learn how to do mural art. And see you in the next video.